everybody, Ferranini here, and happy Valentine's Day, everybody! My Sega Monster just came out with the new Valentine's Day update, so let's go ahead and check it out. Starting off with the video, My Sega Monsters Season of Love 2024 Official Monster Handler Short. Okay, so starting out with one of the monster handlers doing their hair. Lovely, lovely. Gotta make sure the bow tie looks bowy. I think I'm ready for my first date. Okay. Uh, I better get going. Don't wanna be late. Riz monster handler, Mail anyone? Wait, <laughs> oh, wait, what? what? Mail time. Mail. Uh, Mail time on your first date. How unfortunate Some timing. For the monsters in the monster world. They went to the wrong place. Oh. Oh, Galvanus. That's monsters awkward. Are get their Valentines. Oh, oh so monsters are about to get their Valentines. Imagine <laughs> Valentine's Day and monster. Am I saying monster? <sighs> Like where there's actually a couple monsters. That would be cute. Yeah, she's like, I got you. Go ahead, go off on the ship. Oh, is there no? Is that a rare version? Hey, let's go. Fire Oasis. Fire Oasis. Oh gosh, I like that version. I like that version of Broski. 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 Wait, what? What is that? All right, what's next? What monster is that? There's a lot of rares, isn't there? Or rares or epics? Different, whoa, that looks like a totally new monster, so I don't know. Okay, what are we doing over here? Wh wh whose letter is this for? <laughs> Snatch it up real quick in the air. Sucks! <laughs> oh okay, my gosh, more. yes! Ethereal workshop. Ethereal workshop? Can, that's just been a normal field trip. Is it gonna be like a rare on Ethereal as well? <sighs> Here you go. There you go. Happy season of love. I gotta get going, but it is very nice to meet you. <laughs> <gasps> oh, wait, 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 wait. Are th th that's not just rares, right? They're new monsters? Oh my gosh, yes! Let's freaking go! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Best <laughs> thing ever. Oh, oh, not them giving him more mail. <laughs> <laughs> and thus was the end of the monster handler's love life. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out the season of love 2024. I was not expecting the um ethereal workshop monsters, which is super duper exciting. So let's just let's just go ahead and get into this. Okay, so last time we played My Singing Monster, we celebrated Crescendo Moon, where we have these amazing little decorations on Magical Sanctum. But now let's go ahead and go to the island of love itself, Air Island. And I believe this is my very first event I've ever seen on My Singing Monster. If you check out my Air Island um, uh, video on this. Oh, it's been so long since I've I've been to Air Island. Guys, you already know what's coming up. You already know what's coming up. Ah! <laughs> I love the Air Island Wubbox, guys. They need to make them louder. They need to make them more of a jump scare. Anyway, so let's go ahead and go to where the info icon is. Click on the calendar. I believe I read this already last year, so I'm not going to reread it. So let's go ahead, activate the trial, relook at the seasonal events. Oh, man. You gotta love it when they have like seasonal events. I know you can just straight up buy these and have it on all year round, but I feel like the change every so often just feels so right. And then, ah! <laughs> I love doing that. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the mailbox and check things off one at a time to make sure we have looked at everything that this event has to offer. So first it says seasonal events, season of love, Smoochel is available. We already got Smoochel. Um, Smoochel's regular version, his rare version. I don't think he has an epic version just yet. No, he does, and I don't have it. I don't have the diamonds either. Oh, I do like the epic. The epic looks really nice. Aww, it's like a chocolate, chocolate Smoochel. So let's go ahead and check out the next thing on the mailbox, which is the new Monsters of Ethereal workshop let's let's leave that to the end because i feel like that is a good epic finale for this video um we're gonna go ahead and look at the new monster epic socks so it was an epic version of socks awesome on ethereal island Ooh, ooh! look at all the little like things coming out of it what would you call those antlers not antlers horns maybe but i feel like i can't afford it right now i should probably stock up on some diamonds you know what it's been a while since i bought some diamonds so Let's go ahead and get some for this glorious event. <laughs> At least that's how I justify getting diamonds, guys. Okay, so now we got some diamonds. Let's go ahead and get the epic socks after all. I know you can breed him, but like, 
I feel like the amount of time it would take to breed him versus actually like getting him is like gonna be almost around the same amount of diamonds. Anyways, let's go ahead and crack him open. Oh, I love the chocolate look. I love the chocolate look. That is so cute. Uh, ah. And then of course, we're gonna go ahead and place you in the front behind the two wordos. Look at the animation. I always, I remember that the animation for the epics versus the regular is always different. Like you see how they're like, you know, moving around a little bit more. They're flying. Why wow, these two are just stationary. Like, yeah, we'll just wait for our moment. So they have a little bit more like fluttering action is what I notice. A lot more expressive, a lot more animation here. Anyways, going on with the next one was Epic Socks, right? Okay, let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, so Socks is here, or Socks, Socks, saxophone, Socks, maybe. Anyways, Epic Socks is here. Oh my gosh, Epic Socks cost a lot of diamonds. <laughs> Do I like you enough to get you over the regular Socks that I already have? Uh, not that much. But I look, I do like the epic socks. If you, especially if you compare, I know that it's epic compared to the regular, but sometimes I do like the regular version. And I do like the, actually, no, I think I like the regular version better than the epic one just because, I don't know. It's giving off cute little fox vibe. The other one's giving off a uh, cute grandfather fox. Does that make sense? Okay, so another new update was a new monster epic wallaby. That was Wallaby! Huzzah! 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 Ah, ah. Ah. <laughs> I love coming back to the old islands. Like, it's such, like, it's not nostalgic. Well, it, it feels nostalgic, but it's literally been like a couple of months. So I don't know if you could call it nostalgic. So here we go. We got Epic Wallaby 750. I can justify that in my brain. Oh my gosh. Let's go ahead and get it and put it next to regular Wallaby. Oh, I love the egg. Anyways. Either way, the stars or like the sprinkles or not even sprinkles, but the shinies. Okay, this is an epic I can say without a doubt that I love a lot more than the regular one. Okay, so if we compare the two animations with each other, so far they're doing the same exact stomping ground. They're doing the same movement with your mouth. Okay, okay, guys. Actually, I think the reason why I like the Epic a lot more than the regular is those gosh darn fingers! The phalanges, the toes, the grippers, everything just being all over. But, okay, so if we definitely look at them side by side, they do have all, basically the same animation. Rare Bookworm! That's another one that just came out. Okay, so new monster Rare Bookworm available on Psychic and Seasonal Shanty. That's what we saw. It was a rare version. I like how they, they're coming out looking kind of like um, Valentine's Day too. Even though they're not the monster for Valentine's Day, but they still kind of have that Valentine's Day theme, you know? So let's go ahead and check them out real quick. I do. Oh, I forgot you were here. I was literally just listening. I was like, what? Is that Melody? Oh, oh my gosh. I'm not here to gush about Gogart. Bow head, bow family. I'm not here to gush about that. I'm here to look at Bookworm. Where you at? Where you at, Bookworm? Oh yeah, I was about to say, where are you? <laughs> okay, so this is Bookworm regular. So let's go ahead and check out the rare version. Ooh, I like this one a lot more. Let's go ahead and get her. Cracker, oh, and even her egg has a little bow on it. That's cute. Okay, crack it open and, ooh. Okay, I like this a lot. Like, maybe because it's just more colorful. Let, let's place her next to the other one. Okay, 100%. I love the bows everywhere. All the bows and then, the like, the, the book teeth. Oh my god, Bowhead! Why do you sound so amazing? Ah! 
Uh, anyways, I love how the book with the teeth in it looks like it also have like chocolate. I just love the, the, the aesthetic all together. Even the creepy book face that they got over here is replaced with a cutesy bow one. I Maybe I just like cutesy things. That's why I like this one. It's a lot more cutesy. Let me know what you guys think, guys. Out of all the rares and epics that they released today, let me know which one's your favorite between the epic socks, the epic wallaby, and the rare bookworm. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. But now it's finally time to go to the grand finale. The new monsters on Ethereal Workshop. Wave three now available. Oh my gosh. So we saw it. We did see a sneak peek of them already. So I guess I don't have to block my eyes because I already seen them. I am super duper excited to hear what they sound like on here. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, literally, I like how as soon as we jumped into this, it was like, you already know what time it is. You already know what time it is. I love this. I love this. This definitely gives me. Oh, yeah, this next part. Ah, ah, ah. As soon as we jump in, it literally feels like the same feeling as, um, Wobbling Island, which is like low key my favorite island right now. Because as soon as you jump in, it's just straight vibes, straight party. Like you can just like, you know, get into it. I love that. Kind of like last time, I kind of neglected getting my shards. So I only got 36, and I, I, I'm gonna see how far I can stretch this. But it's gonna be worth it. So let's go ahead, get into this. So the first one we're gonna try to get is Ghost. I know they have official names, guys, but this is just how I do it in my brain. So we got Scary Ghost, Gears, and Radioactive. So let's go ahead and put those together. Radioactive. So we do need a radioactive one. So let's go ahead and try to turn one radioactive. And nice. And then we need gears. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Now we can go and synthesize. Go ahead and plop them together. We got Ghost, Radioactive, and Gears. This meep will destabilize the combination. Upgrade? Upgrade again? Wait, I thought I already upgraded it last time. Oh gosh, 20,000. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, I thought I upgraded it last time. Okay, so even more. It's even upgraded to the right. Hyper refined synthesizer, guys. Okay, bet. This better be some good synthesizing. That's all I know. So let's go ahead and put these three together. And confirm, please. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Okay. So that's going to be the cycle, guys. If you guys have never seen me do the two mints and all that stuff, that's going to be basically the cycle until we finally get it. So let's go ahead, put our long pants on. We'll be in this for the long run. Let's go. Ooh, did I get it? Did I get it? <laughs> you guys, so let's go ahead and speed this monster up. And let's go ahead and see it. It looks like a honeybee. Like, we just saw them, but already, like, I forgot what they look like. Is it concerning how bad that memory is, guys? Anyways, it looks like a honeybee with nails on it. So let's go ahead, crack it open, and... Oh, yeah. What sound is that? So I wonder how it's going to sound. Why does it look like a rock and roll type monster? Okay, wait. Let's just... Nothing to it but to do it. Let's go ahead and plop this guy in and hear what he sounds like with, like, this already really good existing melody that we have. You know what I mean, guys? So let's go ahead and put you over here. Zoom in and let's see what part you come in at. Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> wait, 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 what? Off the bat, first thoughts? I don't know. I don't know. I was not expecting to come in during Angel's part, first of all. But second of all, like, the sound that was coming from it. Bah, 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 bah. What? Makes me even more curious for what they're planning that Angel part. You know what I mean, guys? Anyways, let me just move him a little closer. And we'll hear him one more time, guys. It's like a guitar. I 
I really wonder what direction, what other monster are they gonna bring in that would make sense with that? Maybe the other monster. So I'm gonna go ahead and just buy it because I do not have the shards. <laughs> I don't have the shards. So let's go ahead, get this monster. Oh gosh. He looks very intimidating. And he's our first, no, he's one of the um, first quads. Well, not first quads, he's the second quad, I think. I think the other one's a quad. Behold a workshop within the workshop. <laughs> I guess it makes sense. Fittingly, the mech quad looks like the wooden workbench of monster antiquity where items and decorations alike were crafted. Rumors swirl that it's planning a high mech heist. What? To distract Zaro and escape into the great beyond, but we're not sure the world is prepared. You want to, <laughs> what? It's like they're being kept there against their will. Okay, let's go ahead and buy. And automatically the egg looks like an egg or looks like a gear as well. So let's go ahead and crack it open and boom. Is it percussion? Wait, what? Okay, your name is Venishun. Venshun. Venshun? Venshun! Like invention! Duh! Okay, Venshun. Okay, cool. <laughs> let's go ahead and hear what Venshun sounds like, guys. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, you coming during this part? Hey, I like that. D -d 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 I like that part. I like that part with the little whistle start blowing. Okay. That is so interesting. And you don't come during this part. I feel like yeah, I gotta get used to this guy. Let me know what you guys think though. Like I feel like I gotta get used to this guy, but this guy feels like it's literally in the name, a workshop. You know what I mean? Like he is this the work he's the workshop in Ethereal Workshop, guys. Like he makes that sound. I love when that little whistle comes in, you know, guys? Wow, this triple element ethereal is not what we were expecting. <laughs> it's so cute and endearing. Even its head banging, stereotypical associated with hardcore genres is absolutely delightful. What precisely is going on here? Is the Piplash harboring some secret? Putting up a front? Concealing a side we can't see? Could the monster possibly be a wholesome as it's outwardly seems? This is driving us crazy! <laughs> so is there some dark secret to Whiplash? Piplash. Anyways, guys, that has been the new Valentine's Day update. Definitely let me know what you guys thought about the update as a whole, your favorite rares, your favorite epics, and also what do you guys think about the new Ethereal Workshop monsters and if you guys like them. I feel like I gotta grow on me though. Me personally. Okay. Okay, the more I listen to this, the more Piplash kind of grows on me. I mean, especially their animation and how cute they are when they like do a little head banging and their little thing just like whistles with it. I love the design and everything about it. I feel like it reminds me of Pom Pom, just how cute they are. Um, but as for the sound, I feel like the sound threw me off originally because during Angel's part, it kind of felt like a low key type vibe. Like everything sounded good and low key. But when you add ain't or add um, Piplash, it kind of sounded kind of more like off from the low-key vibe I was getting from it. Like even with Nightbear during this part, he still has that low-key vibe. Does that make sense? Anyways, Piplash is growing on me, and I can't wait to see what else they add in that section to complement Piplash. And uh, as for Vention, I love Vention. He literally puts the workshop in Ethereal Workshop, and I feel like. That's literally what this place needed. So I love that. But anyways, you guys definitely let me know what you guys think about these two new monsters. Either way, I feel like they're both great additions to this island. But I would love to hear what you guys think. Anyways, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Nina, out.